Hi, this is uh, the second in a series of short videos about the life and times of Gavin Maxwell. Um, people who are, who are interested in, in the life of Maxwell will pretty well know the bigger picture, they know the bigger story. But I'd just like to pick up on a, a couple of, on s some of the smaller details that people may not know. Last week I put a video out about the uh, mural inside the Wave Pains Bothy. Today I want to uh, give an explanation about this character you can see here uh, in what I like to call the unknown painting. Uh, this is in response to the Paul Merton video on YouTube. That's the Paul Merton from the BBC. And um, during his Highlands and Islands programme, he visited the long room um, and the guide inside uh, the long room responded to his question about about this painting. When he asked, who is this young lady here? She says, we haven't got a clue. We don't know who it is, uh, but it's not a young lady. It's, it's a young man. And I thought, hello, if you haven't got a clue who it is, what makes you think it's a young man? In actual fact, it is a young man. So I just think that they know more than they're letting on. I did put an explanation out a couple of years ago on a, a different uh, social media platform. And immediately I got a, I got a response from somebody at the, at the Alien Band Trust, if that's, that's the correct uh, uh, format for them. Uh, and he said that they didn't know who it was. Uh, in fact, they thought that it was a self-portrait of, of Gavin Maxwell himself. Um, they're obviously painted by 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 himself um i didn't agree with that i had a character in mind who i thought it was and i i thought that the features didn't fit at all um they like to try and explain that away be uh using the phrase artistic license um so no i i didn't agree with that and just as a kind of uh backup I sent a, a copy of the of the photograph to Jimmy Watt to have a look at, and I, uh, straight away he came back and categorically said that it was not Gavin Maxwell in in the painting. So if Jimmy Watt says it's not it's not Gavin Maxwell, then that's good enough for me. Um, so I'd like to just give a short explanation who I think this character is. And I think it's, it is painted by uh, Gavin Maxwell, but it's the, the sitter, a young man, is a guy known only as Thomas. That's T-O-M-A-S. Although I strongly suspect that's not his, his real name. As with a lot of the characters in some of the uh, different books, the names have been changed. Um... Well, f for reasons known only to the authors. Um, so he was a, a Thomas was a, a a refugee to this country before the Second World War. Came here with his family, and he was he was introduced to Gavin Maxwell by a former a former love interest of uh, Gavin's, uh, a young. Uh, a young woman called Clement Glock. Uh, very, very interesting um, bohemian socialite uh, who had um, associations with the Maxwell family. Let's just put it that way and leave it at that and, let, and leave it for people to dig a bit deeper to, to try and see what I'm uh, trying to say there. Um, but uh, she was she was a very interesting character. She was she was an artist like Gavin, although she worked in a different sphere. She was um, in charge of the scenery department um, at the Royal Opera House at Covent Garden. And certainly in those days, I don't know if it's the same today, but all of the the huge scenery backdrops were hand painted, and she did that. And she was in charge. So she introduced Thomas to Gavin Maxwell. Initially, he was meant to uh, be a sitter for a portrait that, that Gavin was going to paint to run alongside some new portrait being 
released by uh, Kathleen Rain, and the poem, I'm pretty sure it was meant to be called Sleeper at the Ruins Foot, which was part of the Northumberland sequence uh, group of uh, poetry. And because he looked like Clement Glock, a former love interest, with his sharp features and uh, wavy blonde hair, Gavin became smitten. Um, he accompanied Gavin, amongst other places, to uh, Sicily for his uh, research on his, on his upcoming book about Sicilian bandits. Um, Thomas was said to have been a man, a young man, uh, a highly intelligent young man and a chess champion um, who had a, a lot of self-confidence and a, a strong sense of self. Unfortunately, like a lot of Maxwell's uh, relationships, it didn't go well and Thomas just wouldn't allow uh, Gavin Maxwell to shape him into the character that he wanted him to be and so they parted ways. So I hope you find that a little bit of a little bit interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a, a young character called Thomas and unless anybody else can come up with a better explanation then I'm I'm gonna be sticking to me guns. So uh, thanks for listening.